और गैस सो वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन इफ़ यू आर समन यू टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज़ निखिलेश एंड टुडे वी आर हीर टू टॉक अबाउट बायो टेक्नोलॉजी बायो टेक्नोलॉजी एज अ इंडस्ट्री इज वेरी वेरी मैसेज पीपल फ्राम डिफरेंट स्ट्रीम्स एक्चुअली कम एंड स्टडी हीयर वेदर यू फ्राम बायो टेक्नोलॉजी बैचलर्स बायो केमिस्ट्री बायो फिजिक्स बायो इंजीनियरिंग मॉलिकुलर बायोलॉजी रिसर्च ओरिएटेड बैचलर्स लाइक ह्यूमन मेडिसिन और वेटरनरी मेडिसिन or for from pure chemistry as well or from pure biology if you are from any of these streams this video is for you today i will be talking about as a biotechnology industry what opportunities are out there and uh, how you can utilize them when it comes to applying for a masters program or when it comes to applying for a full time job so make sure that you watch today's video till the end so before we begin there is a google form in the description of this video you can jump onto that and fill in your details we'll stay in touch we'll see what best we can do for you when it comes to helping you with the admission or the visa support whether it's this year 2022 or for next year 2023 If some of you are interested to have this presentation I'll uh, give it in the description or I'll send it uh, over to you via email once you have filled out a Google form if you're interested to talk to me personally and talk about your profile people also you know very often book personal appointment with me so you can click it right here and it will take you directly onto that uh, website where you can book the appointment I've been doing this long enough now for little over 4 or 5 years now and i've seen thousands of students and and i'm happy to tell you that i've been part of their success story and exactly by doing that mentorship was actually born uh, i learned a lot on the ground here that what are the do's and don'ts and uh, that's how i've designed my 12 months of program you can easily become part of it by enrolling it by clicking on the link on the screen or in the description i'm going to drop a link there this mentorship basically starts helping you while you're in india and it only stops here in germany when you are on a part time job so that's how the whole chapters are designed some of the highlights are already mentioned on the screen right here but then this is just like the tip of the iceberg it goes really really deep now here in germany one thing i've noticed is a lot of people they also get rejected because they don't have enough credits with what they have studied so for an example a student who has studied for 3 years they only get 180 credits whereas if the university requirement for the masters what you are applying is of 210 minimum then that could be the reason which would lead you for rejection there are a lot of universities especially in this field of biotechnology they are okay to have degree which is of 3 years if you have 4 years degree a uh, bachelor's with that's really good then for you but this point is for all those students who are doing bsc degree let's say of 3 years uh you can still apply now biotechnology after talking to some of my friends who are actually working full time i got to know that the programs which are accepted is biotechnology biochemistry biophysics bioengineering molecular biology and research oriented human or veterinary medicine with the focus of one of the previous um previously mentioned subjects now if you come from any of these streams you can fully go ahead and apply for this course so to begin with if you're someone who is currently studying let's say in x university okay and you want to know whether your university or the course what you're studying in that university in your bachelor's is that recognized or not as per german database which is called as anabin basically in a nutshell anabin's job is to is to see the equivalence of your bachelor's what you studied bachelor's in mechanical in india let's say for example to bachelors here in germany in mechanical and what you have to see is your university has something called as h plus so i'll quickly show you how you can check your university whether it's approved by anabin or not just go on google and type anabin.de when you're here go to the first link right here and go to institution okay go to search Let me just switch this for you in English. Oh, my selection. I think it's there from previously. So it's selected India. In your case, you have to open country selection and just press I, and it will show India or a list of countries with I. Confirm. Place where in India? Let's say I want to check Mumbai. I'm going to go and type M, and then say. Uh, Mumbai Maharashtra so this is where you will see Amity University Mumbai 
uh, it's a private university and it's H plus. That means it's approved. And likewise, you have to go and look for your university. You can change the city name to something else, wherever you come from, you know. And then uh, let's say Mangalore, you can see it right here. Okay. So for example, this university, it's H minus. Now that this university is H minus, this whoever is studying in this university will have to go through an extra process of validating their degree and a university from Anabin. And there's an altogether different process, which I don't want to get into right now. But yes, make sure that your university is H plus. List of documents, what you need to apply in a university, which is uh, right here. Nine things, uh, primarily. Bachelor's degree, transcripts for all eight semesters, consolidated mark sheets. Or if you're someone who is currently in eighth semester, then provisional degree. You need SOP. Let's say you're applying for 10 different universities, then you need 10 different SOPs uh, designed. You need three, at least three uh, letter of recommendations. IELTS 6.5 overall, and you need to give academic IELTS, not general IELTS. There are two types, that's why. Work experience letter, if you have any internship or ECA stands for extracurricular activity. Uh, if you have published some academic papers, uh, CV in Europass format, a course module book. Course module book is uh, basically your entire mechanical engineering, uh, you know, in a PDF format. What was the course content, what you were taught, which you can get it from your administration. So these are the nine documents which are the basis of application. So there are two intakes in Germany. One is in summer, one is in winter. Summer starts in April. The deadline is 15th of Jan. Normally, the application actually begins in by November, December onwards. For winter, it starts in October. The deadline is May uh, 15th. Sometimes the deadlines can also go till June 15th. So in Germany, uh, the application is done via three ways. Via university portal, via my assist, or combination of first and second. Now, how do you know that which way a university is willing to take your application? Well, you'll have to check on the course website. If you've seen me talking about German GPA, so this is what the breakdown of German GPA is. So one is the highest you can score here in this country. Four is bare minimum, like just pass. Anything beyond four is fail. Now, many of you would already have your grades into either CGPA or SGPA or percentage. How can you calculate that from that grading system to German GPA? I have I have this link right here, uh, which I'm going to click now, and it will take us directly onto the website of Technical University Munich. We're going to convert the grades. Let's say the highest what uh, highest CGPA one can get is ten. Uh, the bare minimum required to pass the degree is five. And you got, let's say, 7.2. That's your German GPA right here. You know, 2.6 is something what you have got. If yours would be, let's say, 8, then it's 2.2. So this is how you calculate grades. So moving forward from here on. All right, now that you have seen that there are so many colleges, how do you keep track of them? There is a, There has to be a structure to it. So in Nikshala, in our company, we follow certain way of doing things, which has been the most efficient what I've seen over the course of time. You're on Google. Make sure that you go ahead and make this on Google Sheet right here. Now that you're here, uh, first of all, go ahead and change the name of the file, University. So this is a kind of structure what I personally uh, would like to have when it comes to you know shortlisting of the university. It starts with serial number right here, then it goes on to university and uh, under university, there is two types. One is the university name and the type of university. So if it's TU, then you write TU right here. Okay. Uh, and then there's a course. Uh, what course is this? So, you know, in this case, it's computational engineering. You can see that how many semesters the program is off. What is the deadline? Does it require you to have German or not? Does it require you to have IELTS or not? Uh, what is the prerequisite? Have they given any bachelor's requirement what they need? What GPA, what German GPA does it require? Like for example, 2.5 first class, 
with distinction ECTS requirement if it's 210 or 180. If it requires SOP or not, if it's yes, then just type yes. LOR, then how many LORs? If you have given test AS or GRE, what has been your score here? Mode of application, is it via UniAssist or is it via direct portal, you know? Then the, the course website, as you can see, it's right here. It's displaying out. And if you have any email ID of the course coordinator, this is the typical format I like to follow here. It has proven to be very successful for last so many years. I've used this format with different students. So this is where we're going to start talking about the list of universities. I have embedded a link right here. Once you have this presentation, you can uh, download this entire presentation from the description of this video. So when you click here, this is where you land. On this page, you can see there are a total of 148 results. This is for biotechnology masters. And bear one thing in mind, these courses, there is no tuition fees for them. So the way I showed you how to make the list, please go ahead and make one of your list for yourself. Try to apply to at least, I would say, at least 25 to 30 universities because the competition is insanely high for this course. And as I said, people from all different streams are coming into this space. The more you apply, it's going to be better for you. So talking about subjects, specializations in biotechnology. Now, these are some of the areas what you can specialize yourself in. And these individual topics, they are world within itself. You know, you can go ahead and write entire thesis on them. You can go and do R&D and PhD eventually into these areas. Now, it depends on which area you're interested in cell biology um you know cells and tissues culture and evaluation bioengineering um tissue engineering in in microbiology there's method of synthetic uh, microbiology enzyme technology metabolism uh, metabolic analysis and engineering under bioanalytics there's uh, methods of nanobiotechnology purifications and characteristics of protein you can go on really really deep what is your area of interest depends purely on that one pro tip i can give you that when you start your masters here from second semester onwards make sure that you're clear with the idea of what you want to do because this is where most people go wrong and uh, by the time they are towards the end of the education they are still like you know everything is still half as that they don't know what is my area of interest basically try not to bring that situation for yourself a job salaries or phd now my observation with this is sure there are a lot of big chunk of people who end up going for a full-time job but there is also a big number of crowd who study biotechnology and then they end up doing um, phd going towards more on the uh, research and development side they complete their PhD. Now they work again for a company uh, in the R&D section of the uh, department. Choice is yours. I have embedded a link. I'll just show you quickly uh, what kind of jobs and salaries you can expect. Press here and this is where you land. So we are on gehal.de and this is where you can see there are a lot of openings here. The good thing about this website is it'll give you when the job was posted, which location is that and monthly salary. So by this, you will have an estimation per month. It's 4700 for this particular company and this particular job. You, you can, in fact, go ahead and search for any area of uh, profession. Let's just go ahead and select city. Let's say like Munich. Munich is right here. Um, I just want to throw in one important point. Uh, oh, there's there's one job in Freising. I was talking about like, uh, you know, you need to know German language to get a full time job here in this country because of the profession you're getting yourself into. I know a couple of my friends, they graduated from Technical University of Munich and now they're doing their PhD in Fraunhofer, uh, somewhere in the south of Germany itself. Let's go and look for Frankfurt. So there are job openings. If I convert this to per annum, it's somewhere around like 50,000 on an average, what you can expect as a salary per annum. So this is to do with the job salary and or PhD. We are on the last slide. If you want to get enrolled for the program, you can just click right here. Uh, as I said, you can have this PDF for yourself and uh, yeah, get in touch with us. We'll be happy to help you out. So yeah. If you have made it till here, thank you so much for tuning in. Now that you have the list of colleges and all the required documents, go ahead and apply whether or not you want our help, but make sure that you're tight on your timeline uh, because that's where a lot of people make mistakes. So 
Having said that, thank you so much. And uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.